Hello, Coconut Creek family. I'm Yvonne Lopez, and I'm here with our mayor, Josh Rydell. Thank you so much for coming to the Creek TV studios. Absolutely. Your first time. Welcome. It is. With it the is. title, it is my yes, first time, so yes, it's very yes. exciting. Hello, everybody out there. <laughs> okay, today we're here actually to speak about um, early voting. So we have early voting from August 18th to the 28th. Why do you think it's important for people to go out and vote early? You know, a, a very important thing that we try to get the message out to everybody is elections are important. Elections are important for the president. Elections are important for your local city commission. So early voting is an opportunity so that people can get to the polls at their convenience to cast their vote for the, the people that they want to support and the people that think will support their desires in this world. And it's probably a little more convenient because the lines may not be as long and they could actually go to different locations. And now we have um, weekends available. Yep. It starts actually this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know when this is being screened, but this Saturday, the 18th, is right. when it's going to start. And one of the more exciting things is we actually have an early voting location in our city. And where's that? At Broward College North Campus, which is right off Coconut Creek Parkway, a little bit west of the Turnpike. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at the library. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be easier to get in, get out, park, uh, and to cast your vote for this democracy. And what are, um, what are we voting for now? On, mm -hmm. on this ballot, and again, we mm -hmm. don't talk partisan politics in this right. city, right. but on this ballot, you're going to see uh, a number of things. You're going to see House representatives in the, for the United States government. You're going to see Senate offices of people seeking to go to the United States Senate. You're going to see local offices for your local state rep. Uh, you're going to see a lot of judges on this ballot, which mm -hmm. is actually a really important thing that people don't sometimes know about, right. but it's actually really component, uh, an important component of our democracy is uh, electing good, qualified judges. And do you recommend that folks actually do their research before they actually go on to, into the uh, polling? A absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know, something we see sometimes is people really go to you mm -hmm. know, vote for those top ticket items, the president, senators, but those lower ballot items like municipal government, your city mm -hmm. commission, uh, judges, those are things that you need to do a little more research. and. We're, we're blessed to have a real good newspaper in town that does some uh, reporting on it and endorsements. And, and again, if you, you know people in the community that are active, reach out to them. And also, there's a, a lot of important amendments that are going to be on there for, for the state constitution that we're going to see come November. We'll talk more about that as we get, get, okay. get to it, but that's another important part of this ballot. So basically, actually, before we sign off, I think we have a special guest. Oh, I think we do as well. <laughs> Who could it be? Look at this. Oh. <gasps> Is this Rachel? Hi, everybody. Remember to go vote. Yay, go vote. <laughs> go vote. Thank you.